Hi everyone, in this video we're going to discuss rejected shares and how they can affect your mining operations. First, let's start by understanding what exactly rejected shares are. Rejected shares are work units that your miner creates but can't be submitted to the mining pool due to network fluctuations or other factors. The rejection rate of shares can be an essential indicator of how successful your mining operation is. So understanding why and how rejected shares happen is key to optimizing your mining experience. Next, let's discuss how to calculate the rejection rate. The rejection rate can be calculated by taking the total number of rejected shares divided by the total number of submitted shares. This provides an estimated figure for how many work units were rejected out of all those attempted by your miner. Finally, let's talk about reducing and avoiding high rejection rates. If the rejection rate is below 1%, it is normal and can hardly be improved. However, if the rejection rate is higher than 1%, it is recommended that you investigate and take the necessary steps to diagnose and solve the issue. It is also recommended to use a reputable mining pool like Brains or Slush Pool. Whether it be shutting down and restarting your miner, checking your network connection, replacing your router or switch entirely, or even changing your mining pool, there are multiple solutions available to investigate and hopefully rectify this problem. We hope this video has provided you with the information you need to understand rejected shares and how to reduce high rejection rates. Thanks for watching and happy mining.